What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be telling you how you can tame a Quetzal using a horse. Now, the horse is how I tame this Quetzal. This one was breeded. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how I tame the Quetzal by using a horse to knock it out and actually, <laughs> instead of using tranks and darts and all that stuff. So before we go on our Quetzal journey, I actually have a fertile Quetz egg in here ready to hatch. It's a female too, level 628. Perfect. So let's, uh, let's move this little guy out the way first. Sorry, buddy. Come over here. Okay. All right, let's make sure we have meat on us. All right, we have 500 meat. That's good. All right, we're going to hatch them. You ready? Baby Quetzal time. Ooh, he's so big, even as a baby. Damn. All right. We have a female, brand new Quetzal. Welcome to the family. Uh, let me put his follow distance on um, the lowest so he can follow me out the building because I do not want him growing big in here. Come on. Hurry up, I don't want the snails to get out. Perfect. Alright, so we now have a baby Quetzal to add to the family. And it's perfect too, because these both are males. So having a female will definitely help with the um, continued breeding. Now, if I breed any more after this one, I'm probably going to just cryopod them. But for now, I like to have backup Quetzals, because you never know when you're going to need them for something, or if they die, or if someone on the server wants to buy a Quetzal because they are not easy to really find or to tame solo, unless you have uh, some friends with you. But I'm going to show you guys, like I said, how to tame it solo with this horse or with Tranks. If you want to use Tranks, you can use Tranks, but I actually use a horse. So to get started with this mission, what you would need is a harpoon gun. Um, been, uh, quite a bit of materials to make it, but it's all common materials, so it should be pretty easy to make. Um, make a lot of nets just in case you want to make net projectiles because you're going to net the Quetzal and then if you have a cryopod I highly suggest it cryopod your horse um, so that way you can throw it out when you need it if you don't have a cryopod for your horse then um, when you're looking for the Quetzal just bring a bird and carry the horse around that could work and I also would suggest that you guys get a cinema crops because when the Quetzal's in the air you could go up in the air and actually shoot it which definitely helps if you don't have a cinema crops, uh, let me try to. I'm trying to think of what else you can use. If you have a friend, he could carry you with the bird, or you just gotta get creative with it. Honestly, because I never tried it without the cinema crops. So yeah, all you gotta do is get close enough to the Quetzal to net it. Once it nets, it falls to the ground. But if you're on an official server, use Dino Gates over the Quetzal after you knock it out to trap it. If you're on an unofficial and you have stats like these then you don't need to worry about doing that because you'll most likely knock it out beforehand. But if you want to be safe, you can make traps also. All right, we're going to cryopod this baby and we're going to head over there to try to find a Quetzal and go to work. So the first place you should check is the snow biome, particularly by the blue obulus because normally they fly... I've seen a few, like probably two Quetzals around here. Uh, I don't see them now. I'm only checking here first because my base is close by. Yeah, normally they're not going to be like deep in the snow. They're like normally like by over here, just flying in the air. Uh, it might be very rare. Okay, so they're not going to be here. So let's head over. The next spot you want to check is the by the green obelus. So we're going to head by the green obelus and then we're going to look over there. I know I definitely seen a lot more over there than I did over here. So let's go check over there. So normally they would be somewhere in this area on the map. Um, near the green obelus, you just want to circle that so you find one. I know I saw one here earlier, but I can't remember where it was. Oh, shoot, there it is. What level is it? Uh, it's only, only a level 80, but for the sake of this video, we're going to tame this. Probably not going to keep it, but we'll tame it. Okay, so first you want to land your flyer somewhere safe. Now, a cinema crops is what works best with this. But if you have anything that can help you jump up in the sky, um, that works too. So you want to take out your harpoon gun with the net. And then you want to go up to the bird. Now, if you have um, like a Tabjara or a second player that can help you, this would be much easier. Why did that not work? Let me reload. Hold on. There we go. I think it glitched the first time. So while it's falling down, 
Let's get the horse ready. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. We are going to back kick it. Let's make sure we got a good... Uh... I want to make sure I don't kill it. Okay, there we go. And boom. We just literally knocked out a Quetzal within like a minute and a half. Uh, this was a lower level, so it did pretty quickly. But... Yeah, this is pretty much now. Let's say the Quetzal's a higher level. It might take more kicks and he might break out of the net Beforehand, so what you can do is build stone gates over him. So before he breaks out of the net, he won't fly up um, You know and get away Now if you're doing this with a, t a tribe member or with some friends Then this will be way much easier because if you have a horse and you have a, a net You know one of your friends can net them and then you know, one another person could build a trap over him, the dino gates, and then and then you could hit him with the horse until he's fully knocked out, or trank him. This works when you could trank him too. You could not, you could net him and then trank him, or with the horse if you don't feel like doing tranks or you don't have the materials to make tranks. But you could clearly see as I just did, it works, and that's how I got my quetzals in the beginning. Now I just breed them, but uh, so I'm not gonna tame this actually because it's a low level. I'm just gonna leave it there until it wakes up. Sorry, enjoy your nap. There you guys have it. That is how you tame a Quetzal using a horse. Or how you could tame a Quetzal using uh, Tranks. All you need is a net gun, or harpoon with the nets, and dino gates to trap it. And then boom, you got yourself a Quetzal. I'm Simply Amazing. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you guys in my next ARC video. Peace.